Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryce and today is August 30th. It's about 1.30, um, it's a Wednesday. I took, I worked Monday and Tuesday and I took the rest of the week off to help with corn silage here at my girlfriend's family farm. Um, she is up at the state fair doing her dairy princess stuff. And then once she gets done with that, she's going off to school. Um, so she's not here to help. And uh, so I'm here. I did this last year. And, and I'm back here again. Uh, I'm driving a 7230, I believe. So yeah, we've been going here since about 10 o'clock. And um, just getting fields opened up. got three magnums on three of these little Meyer wagons and then we got a John Deere like 215R on a big Meyer wagon right up front here um, and we're pretty close to the main dairy where we're putting this in the bunker so um, we're not using the other two wagons that are parked up uh, at the shop right now uh, I assume eventually those will have to be brought out when we get to the longer hauls but for now it's just the four of us tractor drivers and three of them in the bunker packing and pushing silage around. So, if it's not getting in the way too much, I'll try and uh, take a couple videos here for you. So, yep. Water's got kind of a hole over there. You know, that one will probably be a little bit more work. So, once you get full, um, the chopper will stop and then you know that you need to pull ahead and the next wagon pulls right under it and they keep on going. There's a buddy of mine, Riley Weiss, in the big 8920. This is his first year doing it. I think he's having fun. So now I just jump in line and follow until uh, the chopper stops and Riley will pull away and I'll pull under. So I just got our full load here. Uh, what we did is we just cut through the field and uh, I just follow right directly behind him and he blows it into the wagon and we barely made it all the way across the field but we made it through and I'm full so head back to the bunker. So here we are in the bunker. We've got two blade tractors like that. We got a Betty. It's like I'm driving in my own little parade. I love it. So here we are again. Uh, this is our third, fourth field that we are opening up. Um, so when we're all following directly behind the chopper, when the wagon gets full, he'll pull off as far as he can and then let all of the empty ones pass and then follow behind because there's nowhere else for him to go. So Riley's full behind me. And one's being filled, and then there's two empty ones, including me and the one in front of me. Um, I believe we're just opening up fields today because we don't have a lot of help. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have a couple more tractor drivers, and we can just go to all these fields that we've opened up and just knock out the straight rows, and it'll go really fast. So that's the idea. But uh, I'm not terribly bored yet, so that's good. But um, we'll just uh, keep on seeing where the day takes us. Well, I am 
them really full. We had to stop, couldn't make it all the way around and I got nowhere to go so I have to wait for the rest of the tractors to get back. I believe one is just on his way. You should see him here shortly, any second. There he is, so he just pulled in front and uh, he'll plow my path out of here. They had three um, big silage boxes, and how come they're not here this time? Uh, like she said, that is a custom crew that they have come in and help, and uh, they are busy doing other people's corn silage. Uh, but they left one box here, that big one that you've seen, uh, so that's why they're utilizing all of the little boxes at uh, the farm homes here. So just thought I'd uh, throw that in there if any of you guys were wondering. So that right there, and then all of this is stuff that we've opened up already today. And we're working on one right now, and then we're gonna move to another one and hopefully get that one done tonight. All right, so we got another box that joined into our convoy here. So a little bit of a break. So I can enjoy a sandwich here. I haven't eaten much today, it's been kind of busy. But I got, I packed four ham and Swiss sandwiches and I'm putting some Doritos on top. You just can't beat it. Look at that. Look at that. Yummy. That's good. Opening up a new field over here by the calf site. If you look back a few videos ago, that looks a little different. There's no snow. I do not miss that. Well, it is now about quarter to eight. We're still rolling here. And you wanna know what the scariest thing is? Is when you're just sitting here. I'm just listening to some podcast, nice and quiet in here so I can hear the radio. And this back window will open. The latch will work its way loose and the back window will open and it'll get so loud and that'll make you jump out of your skin. Not even joking. Got a nice pretty sunset tonight. issues but after a half hour of them digging mush out we're back going again so time for everybody to resume their positions all right everybody so it is now 10 after 11 um we're getting ready to wrap it up here for the night i'm just putting some fuel on right now um 
to get ready for tomorrow morning. We'll probably be starting around 7, 7.30, usually 7 to 11 um, are the hours we run. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. I have no idea if I'm going to record every day or if I'm going to record again or this is a one-time deal. So you guys are going to have to find out. that we finished last night and we actually quit a little after 10 because that's when we got this one done and I was very grateful for that because I will be honest I was getting pretty tired and uh, when he said uh, we're calling it quits that made me feel real good because I was starting to lose it chopper sitting right there waiting you can't really see him got a wagon going down the road right there and I'll be pulling in shortly behind Coming down the hill. So when you park it, it's not 
like a whistle, like a blade of grass between your ass cheeks, or what? So it is about 5.20 now. I haven't recorded much because I am pretty tired and it's really the same the same stuff. So there's not really anything new to show you. Uh, but we are just about done for the year. Uh, we got I don't know how many tons he said are in there now, but we need yeah, a look. It looks like the heat has pretty dry. Do you want that on top of there? need a little bit more so the four small wagons are coming out here and I don't know how many turnarounds we're gonna do but we're right behind the farm so it won't be uh, no too far away. away so we're currently debating right now this corn down here is a little drier and we don't know if we want to put that dry stuff on top of the pile so we're waiting for further instruction but we're all staged up here ready to go just wait. All right, upon further investigation, that field is too dry, and we've just decided that that's it. We're gonna dress up the bunker. So that's what we're doing. We just unhooked the wagons back there, and um, we're gonna get some supper here quick, and then we'll let the blades and pack tractors finish up what they need to do with shaping it, and then all of us tractors will go up all of us tractors all of us with tractors will go up and we're going to do a cross pack on it and just make it nice and round so the water is able to shed off of it um, so yep that's what we're doing now what do you think the fun is what you want to call it <laughs> beef barbecue plain pork right, so what we're doing now is digging the edge of the bunker out so when you put the tires on the plastic, they don't slide off the pile. So we're digging about a six inch little trench. Riley's complaining. That's a big pile of feed. So I don't know if I explained this, but the reason um, the tractors are packing here is to squeeze all the oxygen out um, so it doesn't spoil. And they milk about 500 cows here. And this will get them through next corn silage harvest.
this is all gets this is the main ingredient in the tmr ration so this gets mixed with the uh, haylage which is in those bunkers over there and um we've got high moisture corn and a whole bunch of other stuff it all gets mixed together and fed to the cows so um the plan is to finish up getting stuff formed up and ready to go and then tomorrow morning we're gonna be putting plastic on this which is always fun Say hi. Good morning. Morning. Hey, having fun? It's getting hot out. Show them what we did so far. Throwing tires on right now. <laughs> My old man showed up. There's a truck. <laughs> well, 10 a.m. here now. Done. Finished. Either three or four layers of plastic on here. I don't really know because I lucked out and I got to run the skid loader and bring tires up. So uh, that was nice. Uh, it's just starting to get hot out, so I'm glad we're done with this. But my dad, Eric, and I were in three skid loaders. We put gravel along the whole bunker here to pull that plastic tight. Um, so yeah, that's a wrap. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time.